Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we will talk about 20 important interview questions, which will help you to clear any Power BI job interview. If you are new here, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for this channel. Let's start with our first question. Apart from Power BI Desktop, where can you use Power Query? The answer is, apart from Power BI Desktop, it is used into many other Microsoft products. Like Microsoft Excel, Common Data Service, Power Automate, Analysis Services, and Power BI Data Flow. It can also be used inside Azure Data Factory Pipeline. Next question, what is the use of custom functions and how will you create one? A Power Query custom function is a mapping from a set of input values to a single output value and is created from native M functions and operators. You can also reuse your Power Query transformations by converting it into a custom function. What are the AI transformations available inside Power Query? AI transformations such as text analytics, vision analytics, and Azure Machine Learning can be used inside Power Query Editor, which can help to do transformations like language detection, score sentiment, or key phrase extraction. To avail these transformations, we need a premium capacity or premium per user subscription. Question number four. Explain error handling method in Power Query. There are two types of errors, step level error or cell level error in Power Query. We can use combination of try and otherwise or combination of try catch. Catch method is introduced in May 2022. What is the use of advanced editor? All the transformations are recorded in the form of data mashup language called mCode, and if there is any custom transformation required, we can edit the advanced editor and author our own custom transformation using M language. Next question. What are the consequences of having bidirectional relationships in Power BI data models? Bidirectional relationships can be used inside Power BI data models only if we understand the concept of ambiguity. We should ignore having an ambiguous data model because our calculations may give unexpected results, which will be very hard to detect. What is the difference between related and related table functions? Related function is used to get data from the dimension tables, while related table can be used to evaluate all the related rows from many side of the relationship to one side of the relationship. What is evaluation context? Evaluation context is basically the context under which a DAX expression has to be evaluated. It consists of two concepts called row context and filter context. Next question. What is the difference between all and remove filters functions? All is a table function, which ignores the filter context applied on the table or column. While remove filter is a special function, which can be used to remove existing filters from the table or column. Remove filter function can only be used inside calculate or calculate table, while all can be used independently. Question number 10, explain two table functions in DAX. First example is add columns. This function adds calculated columns to the given table or table expression. And second is top in function. It returns the top in rows of the specified table. All right. What is auto date time feature in Power BI option setting? Auto date time feature gives flexibility to create time intelligence calculations based on any date column available in your Power BI data model. However, you may not be required to create a date table for suppose a birth date column, but still it will create a date table for this and your model size will be impacted. You can see these hidden tables inside DAX Studio. Next question. Can you use total YDD or total MTD functions for a fiscal calendar? Answer is no. These functions are designed to work only with your calendar, which starts from January 1st and ends with December 31st. What is the difference between top N and rank X function? Rank X is a scalar function which returns a ranking attribute to each row in the context, while at the other hand, top N is a table function which returns a table of top N items. Okay. Why calculate function is so important in DAX? It is important because, Apart from calculating the values on a modified filter context mentioned inside its arguments, it also does an important activity called context transition, which converts the row context to equivalent filter context. What is the difference between Power BI Dataset and Power BI Data Flow? Answer for this question is 
A Power BI data flow can be created inside a workspace and can be used as a data source from Power BI Desktop. It uses online Power Query Editor to clean and transform data. While a hosted Power BI dataset also can be connected from Power BI Desktop as a live connection to analysis service model. All right. Next question is, what is the difference between app and a workspace? An app is used for sharing content. You can share the selected content from your workspace, and there is also an option to share with entire organization. While a workspace is used mainly for collaborating on content, you can assign different roles to the member of your workspace, like member, admin, contributor, or viewer. How to set schedule refresh for a SQL Server data source. We need to install a Power BI data gateway, and then we will be able to configure and schedule refreshes from dataset setting inside our workspace. What are the best practices to follow in Power BI reporting? Be strategist and consistent with your reporting. Simplify the data being collected. Set milestones. Keep database records. Reassess and reevaluate internal reporting practices. What is the use of DAX Studio? DAX Studio is a tool to write, execute, and analyze DAX queries in Power BI Designer, Power Pivot for Excel, and Analysis Services Tabular. It includes an object browser, query editing and execution, formula and measure editing, syntax highlighting and formatting, integrated tracing, and query execution breakdowns. All right. Now the last question from this series is, what is FE and SE in Vertipak? And the answer is, FE and SE are formula engine and storage engines. These two engines are used inside Vertipak, which is the engine behind Power BI and works with a columnar database. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn Pro Power BI and DAX techniques, subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit the bell icon to get notified for all interesting topics on Power BI.